You're Crane, right? Yeah, that's me. I'm Michael. Troy's waiting for you in the loft. Good to have you here, Crane. It's a pleasure, mate. Uh, I'm savvy. Need anything technical? I'm your man. Almost rigged a way to break through the chrome jamming. Come on, say hello to Troy. Hey, I'm Kyle Crane. It's good to finally put a face with the voice. You're looking for Jade Aldemir, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen her? I mean, do you know where she is? Jade. This is Troy. Do you copy? Go ahead, Troy. Jade, hey, it's Crane. Now, I know you're headed for Dr. Camden, but his clinic's surrounded by zombies and Rise's thugs, so just let me come and help you. Crane, stay away from me. I hear your voice, and all I can see is my brother. Please, just hear me out, okay? Look, the thing is, the GRE hired me, all right? I was supposed to find out where Rise sent this, this classified file, but... But that doesn't matter anymore because the Ministry contacted me. Jade, they were going to firebomb the city, but I talked them into waiting because they want that research that you're carrying. Now we need to figure out some way to let them know that we've got it. Jade? You Jade! Crane, the last time I spoke to her, she was at the university. It's due east from here. If what you just said is even a little bit true, you will have to find her. Copy. What is it, Troy? Savvy has an idea how to break through the radio jamming and contact the outside world. He'll be working on that while you're busy looking for Jade. Well, that's fantastic. Let's hope he's onto something. I'll be in touch. And if I may make a suggestion, avoid the infected if you can, okay? They've always been dangerous, but now they're mutating into something even more deadly. Listen to me and you listen good, son. You think those biters out there are dangerous? Uh, what you gotta watch out for is right in here, locked up with us. Yeah, I'm talking about people. Of course, I'm talking about people. You know why? Because people are goddamn unpredictable. Biters, you know what they're gonna do. They're gonna bite. But you get somebody in here, somebody who's used to living the good life, 
Somebody spoiled, pampered, and then all of a sudden they're sleeping on the floor and eating cat food and nobody gives two fucks who they are anymore. That kind of thing, and you pay attention to this, that kind of thing will screw with your mind worse than any zombie. Zombies, that's... That's too strange, too far out of the human experience, too far off script for most people's minds. But somebody who's used to living like a king, and now they're worse than a beggar, they understand that. And they're the ones to watch out for, because they will fucking snap in a heartbeat, and you don't have the slightest idea what they're capable of or what they'll do. So be careful, and keep a weapon handy. Yeah, but we should have keep an eye out for homicidal one percenters. Hey, buddy, have you seen a woman named Jade Aldemir? She's got long, dark hair, she's tough as nails. Yeah, she was talking to what's-his-name over there. Thanks. Jade? Jade, are you here? Who are you? What do you want? No sign of Jade. Damn it. Want a deal? Hey, 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 can you help me? I'm looking for a young woman, dark hair, petite, takes no shit from anyone. Her name's Jade Aldemir. Yes, she was here. You didn't miss her by too much. She waited around for a while with a big scowl on her face, and then took off. God damn it, did she, did she say where she was going? No, but your crane, right? She left this for you. That's a mirror. Why would she have left me this? Well, I can't say for certain, but she did ask me to tell you not again. Don't know what that's supposed to mean. Hey. One more thing. Yeah? You ever use a rifle out there? If you do, you should see our gunsmith, Rupert. That guy can craft a howitzer from a pop gun. A silencer would be more useful, but where would I find him? Well, that's the thing. He hasn't been in his workshop for a while. You might want to try his flat. Maybe I'll do that. Jade, this is Quain. Do you copy? Jade, can you hear me? Troy, this is Quain. Do you copy? Quain, I was just about to contact you. Savvy broke through the jamming and I think you better get back here. You have to see this. Why? What do I what do I have to see? You have to see it for yourself. Just get back here, all right? I'm serious. No matter how many times I watch it, I still can't believe it. 
An internal global relief effort document surfaced today that, if verified, implicates the GRE in a far-reaching criminal conspiracy. Instead of trying to find a cure for the Haran virus, according to the file, the GRE had plans to weaponize it and sell it to the highest bidder. Worldwide backlash has... No, no, skip to the important bit. I was the last survivor left in the quarantine. I can't believe I made it out. I can't believe I'm still alive. We mourn all those who didn't survive. But as the president said in a speech here earlier today, life is for the living. Military troops have searched for survivors all over the quarantine, but now there's no one left besides the infected. According to Colonel Tanner, once his decontamination process is finished, the infection will be completely obliterated. Oh, the Ministry did this. <laughs> They're making their excuses to the rest of the world for destroying a city. Look, Crane, before you go charging out of here, we already had an idea of how to send a message. We were going to plant explosives in a building and set off fires in a pattern, something the zombies could never do. Trouble is, we got the runner, Michael, over to the right building, but he can't get through to the top floors. Too many biters. As much as I hate to admit it, none of the rest of us are strong enough to do this job. Well, we've got to do something right fucking now, or you, me, Jade, and everybody else are going to get blown to bits. I tell Michael I'm on my way, and while I'm doing that, can you get in touch with Jade? Try to get her to meet me. You have my word. <laughs> 